Hey guys, I'm Brugly, and it's happening again. Another media company has taken up the torch and has decided to create something about the backrooms. And if you're familiar with the American Horror Story franchise, well, then you might have seen they've announced that an episode, specifically the fifth episode of uh, this new season, will be about the backrooms. Now, I'm sure you're wanting to hear my thoughts about it, but we're going to check out the actual stuff first. So let's do that real quick. So here's the tweet from American Horror Story Source. Right here, American Horror Story, the back rooms with just a pretty stock back rooms image. If I'm being honest, guys, you could have done better. Um, but it has 5 million views and it was posted two days ago and it has 30,000 likes almost. I kind of want to be in this again. I wanted to be in the uh, A24 Cane Pixels back rooms movie, but uh, I haven't been contacted for that yet. So maybe I'll get in the American Horror Story show as some kind of cameo. Um, that'd be pretty cool. I feel like you guys would really like to see that. I can record some behind the scenes stuff. Anyways, I'm not self promoing I'm bringing you guys the news. So American Horror Story, you've all seen uh, it before. It's pretty much just reenactments of like creepy things that have happened um, in history. Um, it's pretty popular. It's got a cult following, but um, it's going to be episode five, season three, episode five, Backrooms, following the Tapeworm episode, the Daphne and the Bestie episode. So it's going to be the season finale, which is a big deal. It is the season finale. And this is this is crazy. I, I mean, this is something that's never happened before. You're, you're having a creepy pasta concept that, that started on 4chan, that blew up on YouTube, uh, and it's becoming actual tangible media. You know, not just Kane Pixels videos, not just my videos. It's becoming like a real media. And I know a lot of people are not liking it, but to those people, uh, I don't really understand where they're coming from because I think it's pretty cool that all this stuff's being made. Uh, who cares if it's not the exact concept you want? It's a cool thing. The backrooms is awesome. And the fact that so many people are finally getting to realize it and recognize what it is makes it even better. Please let me be in your TV show. But yeah, I genuinely think this has good potential, but this is the third season and I think it would be really cool uh, to see this and I, I really want to be in it. Also, I know a lot of people in the comments seem confused uh, on the Twitter post about like the rights to the backrooms. No one owns the backrooms. It's a, it's open source. So it's, it's creative commons which i think means that movies and tv shows can just make stuff about it and they don't have to own the rights they don't have to pay for the rights it's just open source so like you can't you can't copyright it or whatever so that's not going to be an issue just wanted to clear that up for some people and i also wanted to clear for some people if they're watching this video if you just found it kane pixels did not make the backrooms i saw that commented a lot on the post of the twitter post of american horror story and i was like there were some people correcting him, which I appreciate, but no, he didn't create it at all. It was a post on 4chan like two or three years before he made it. Even I was uploading like five months before he uploaded his first one. So it's not uh, it's not that new of a concept. It's just now gaining traction. Uh, but yeah, I just want to clear those things up. I'm sure most people watching this knew that, but if you didn't, there you go. And I want to know your all's thoughts below. I personally think this is amazing. Like I said, I know that lots of you will probably disagree. And I know that lots of you will probably say the same thing you said about the Kane Pixels thing, where you're like, well, I hope they don't ruin it. Man, the backrooms is ruined. I just, I just don't agree with that. I think the backrooms is at its peak right now. And I think it's continuing to peak. I think the concepts are getting more and uh, more better. And I think that the fact that everybody's picking up on it, movie studios, TV studios, I think it's just bringing it more and more recognition from the outside world that's not in this niche YouTube community. So I think it's a great thing that's happening. And I really, I really am interested to see how this turns out. I would really appreciate it if you all went on Twitter and tagged me and tagged AHS Source and, uh, told them to put me in it as like a cameo or like anything. I just want to be in it. I want my only acting role to be something that revolves around the back rooms. And I have almost a million subscribers. You know, you guys are here. You guys are awesome. I have the best fans ever. And I think it'd be pretty cool to be in it. If you've really thought about it though, there's not been another creepypasta or niche thing like this that's ever made the 4chan to TV pipeline or the 4chan to movie theater pipeline. This is absurd. Um, the SCB Foundation, Slenderman, that those are like the two that have really done that. This is crazy. We're entering into a new age of creepypastas and then the movie studios picking up on it. I think it has a lot of potential. And I think, like I said, if it's done right, it can be really cool and really cool to see uh, on the big screen and on your TV screen. I'm no moist critical or anything. I can't just blabber on like this for 15 minutes each time. I'm not a news channel. I just wanted to break the, the backrooms news to you all. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you want more liminal space movies and TV shows. And uh, I hope you have a blessed day. And I will see you in the next regular scheduled programming Brugley video, which comes out tomorrow. Peace and love.